At his Regina home, Abdul Salam Abu Al Shamad relies on photos to see his mother's face. The Syrian refugee hasn't seen her in person in more than two years. She's in Turkey now, waiting for her immigration application to Canada to be approved. But I have no idea how much longer it will take because um, I checked the government website, I checked with uh, MP offices, I, I checked with immigration lawyers. There's no time frame. Al Shamad's father is concerned about his wife's health and wants to travel to Turkey to see her. But his travel documents are also delayed. A process that Al Shamad says should have taken 20 days has stretched to a year with no end in sight. Waiting endlessly without any, um, without any way of tracking it, without any way of knowing when you might get it, is is really stressful and it, it makes you it always makes you always living in a state of, of anxiety and uncertainty. I am busy on my my for my uh, wife' health. I I want to to be beside her to help her to uh, treat her every, everything. Beverly Ford is waiting to be reunited with her daughter in Saskatchewan. They have been waiting for more than three years for Ottawa to process their permanent residency application. We've never ever been separated like this ever in our family's history at all, you know. So this this was a hard pill to swallow for us. Ford is frustrated by the long wait and the lack of transparency. CBC questioned the new federal immigration minister Mark Miller about that in an exclusive interview. Another recurrent issue is the poor communication. That people call, they email, they send GCMS notes, web forms, waiting on lines for hours. And sometimes, you know, the department takes up to months and in few cases even years to respond. And how would you like change that? Is, is, is communication a priority for your office right now? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I think it's fair to say that in some respects, the way we do um, the actual day-to-day -day operation of of immigration and refugee and, and citizen applications has not adapted to the 21st century. Miller says he hopes to modernize the system to expedite processing times and to improve communication with families. Al Shamad hopes Miller can affect change and make the system more accountable. Pratish Tayal, CBC News, Saskatoon.